What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be doing a different challenge today We're gonna be using some random team you guys will know by the title obviously But I have no idea what team I'm gonna be yet and we're just gonna accept every single trade that's offered to me You know those stupid trades that always get offered to you when you're doing my league and you're just like turn CPU trades off Well, I can't do that today because today I'm gonna be accepting Every single trade a CPU offers me like I said in the beginning. I have no idea what team I'm gonna be yet I'm gonna go ahead and just choose randomly I'm gonna close my eyes go through this and we're just gonna stop in three two one We're gonna be the Chicago Bulls. All right, so we are gonna be the Bulls today Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoy this one as well And of course, you no know, comment any other challenge ideas you guys might have for me to do i would definitely be down to do it Oh, what did I just oh my gosh? This is already a fail. This is already a fail because I think I clicked uh, start an off season. So let me fix that. Now that we're in the right, my league, it is time to start the video. But before we get started in simulating, I want to see what this team's looking like first off. So obviously the Bulls are somewhat relatively a young team and that's good and all that's fine. I'm just curious to see what kind of offers we get. So I, I like the rotation. It looks pretty good. This should be an interesting way. Let's see if like Zach Levine gets traded, but I'm going to go ahead, sim through the season, although it will be super slow because this is... 2k 20 remember that for why did i just turn trades off that made no sense i was like let me turn trades off that way it'll go faster but then the, there's like how am i gonna do the video so let's go ahead and start it now so we got the shark hornets beating us 107 to 118 not a good start but i'm just waiting for the first trade offer to pop up as we wait and wait i'm not seeing anything just yet although it is the very beginning of the season so maybe i shouldn't uh trip out too much yet let's just keep waiting i'm not sure when it's gonna come but uh whenever it does come we'll see it trust me oh my gosh we're three and three on this season three and four is our first trade offer john wall and isaiah thomas oh my gosh okay what what are we to do what are we to do this is the challenge we get john wall and isaiah thomas for zach levine and auto porter interesting and john wall is injured i'm pretty sure is it he's not injured at you know what just for this video obviously i'm gonna go ahead and put him in because we just traded for him so i'm gonna let the C cpu rebuild the rotations every time though because i just kind of want to see what they'll put together and uh yeah oh my gosh look at this team so many point guards now but let's keep simulating we're four and five in the season now and now we have john wall so this already is off to a weird start we already traded our best player in zach levine oh my gosh and now we get dario sarge for uh isaiah thomas okay uh we do get okay i'm cool with this although we already have laurie marketing so yeah but we have to accept the trade so let's go see what our team looks like now we got hutchinson marketing and then sarge will be coming off the bench we already have that he's oh my gosh look at the rotation man it is just uh it's not it doesn't look too good right now it does not look too good but let's see let's keep going let's see what trades keep trades keep popping up this should be interesting all right uh, we're six and five. Okay, we're getting some winnings going. Okay, I thought that was another trade. And here's another trade. We get Aaron Baines and Diallo for Sarge and Archie Diakno. Okay, that's uh, an all right trade. Aaron Baines is playing some good basketball right now for the Phoenix Suns, and uh, DeAndre Aiden's abs, you know, absent, absence. I almost said absence, absence. Okay, so Aaron Baines will be the backup center now. So okay, the team's looking. It's kind of rounding up a little bit now. Laurie Market has come off the bench for Thaddeus Young. Okay, I think Laurie Markkinen hasn't had too hot of a start to start the season. So that's why he's down to an 80 overall in 2K, which is kind of insane because he was like a... What was it? And now we get Kyle Lowry and Rondé Hollis Jeff. Okay. Okay, so John Wall, your, your time here in Chicago is over. Welcome to the team, Kyle Lowry. All right, so already this is our... This is such a weird video so far. Rondé Hollis Jefferson's a power forward on this game. I'm going to move him small forward because... Uh, Okay, he actually goes down in overall. I was not expecting that. So, all right. Lowry, Kobe White, Rondé. This team is so weird looking. But we are 500, or above 500, I should say. So, I can't complain too much. We're going to keep doing this up until the dread trade deadline just to see how the final roster looks. I don't know when trades eventually stop. Like, I don't know when CPUs will eventually just stop asking for trades. But I assume all the way to the trade deadline, you should be fine. So let's okay. So we're nine and eight. We're still above 500. So I think that's a W in its own right. I mean, we literally have traded like we've made four trades that made zero sense. Maybe five. I don't even know how it is now. How many it is now? But oh my gosh, we're 11 and nine. Are we gonna be a playoff team? Probably not. But it's it's interesting that we're like staying above 500 right now. Here's our next trade. 
And this is an absolute L as far as overall. Rookie Rubio and Tyler Johnson. We have to accept it though. We have to accept it. Oh my gosh. This is an L. That was an L of a trade. Now we get Ricky Rubio. Who's okay and all. But oh my gosh. Are you serious? Like we've gone through four point cards already in this video. That is insane. Okay. Let's keep going though. Let's keep going. So this is some interesting results. I was not expecting some of the results we we're getting. Uh, I've never done this challenge before, but I'm having a lot of fun with it though thus far. So the team's probably gonna start getting worse uh, I don't yeah, just go back to windy city windy city Chicago or windy city Bulls not windy city Chicago Bulls That's two different teams combined together. Okay. We are still above 500 somehow I just don't understand it. When are we gonna just start losing games like crazy because this roster is just weird looking Okay, now we're under 500 and now we're starting to go on a little losing streak Which I was expecting like way earlier in the season Can we get another trade though to turn this train around because I'm curious if If I did this with like a legit playoff team like the Clippers and I was accepting every trade I'm curious to see what would happen. It definitely would be interesting. That's for sure, but uh, you know for the Chicago Bulls so far it has definitely made them worse So I can only imagine what would happen to a championship team like the Clippers or even the Lakers for that right? So oh my gosh 15 and 17 on the season right now. I'm not seeing any trade offers just yet Not haven't haven't seen one in a while probably because you know We've made so many damn trades now and that it literally makes no sense to trade with me anymore 15 and 19 Okay, no trades Okay, we are getting literally no trades. Interesting. Maybe this might be the end of trades. Who knows? I thought we'd get some more, but we're not so far. Here we go. We get another trade, but it's Mike Scott for Aaron Baines. And we get a first, I guess. Okay, whatever. So, yep, that's our, uh, there's our other trade. Or our la maybe our last trade. Who knows? I don't know, man. This video has gotten so weird so far. Look how this Bulls team looks. I'm surprised we haven't traded Laurie Marketing yet. I mean, we still have a couple. We haven't traded Kobe White or uh, Marketing or Carter. So at least some of the young players are still here. But geez, man. Oh my gosh. This is a. This has been a. It's just been horrible. The team is so bad now. Like, I know the Bulls, not real. I mean, it's not like they're great in real life or anything. But man, at least the roster looks somewhat decent. Okay, we get another trade. And now we get a worse point guard in Jalen Brunt. Oh, did I just accept. I think I declined it on accident. What was it? What was the trade? I literally saw Rubio and Jalen Brunson. I didn't see the other two pieces. I'm going to I'm gonna do the trade. I, I don't know what they offered me, but I'm going to do that trade because obviously I, I didn't mean to decline it. What were they offering me? I didn't even see it. I'm so, I like I could probably go back and look. So that's probably what I'm going to do. And then I'll send the trade through. This was the trade they offered me. It was like Jalen Brunson and Dwight Powell for Mike Scott and Ricky Rubio. There was no picks involved, so, and they keep, like, wanting to renegotiate, so, I guess for this part, I will use trade override, that way we can accept that trade, like, for what it truly was, because I don't want to go ahead and offer picks when, you know, that wasn't originally part of the deal. Uh, Mike Scott, where are you? Oh, there you are. All right, so Mike Scott, and then we got Jalen Brunson and Dwight Powell from them, so that's, you know, two interesting pieces. I mean, not too terrible. Jalen Brunson's a nice young point guard, but do we really need a point guard? Not really, but you know what? We're getting another one because we've gotten like, we've gone through probably six at this point because we've literally just landed point guards throughout the video. So it's just be, it's interesting. I, I like the results. It's definitely been interesting. So I, I, I was not expecting some of the results we've gotten. I was not expecting the team get so much worse, but Maybe I should have knowing 2k, you know, the CPU's offers are usually pretty bad and I always turn them off because the first one I always get offered to me. I'm just like, yo, look at this one. Likes to go away in a second for, okay, well, deal. Why not? Welcome to the team, Langston Galloway. You'll probably be the piece that helps us, you know, take us over the top to win a championship. Very happy to have you. So let's go ahead and keep simming though. We got, uh, we're 20 and 27, which isn't terrible for what we are, in my opinion. Like, we literally have gone through so many players. Jalen, Avery Bradley and Jalen Br and KCP. Why do I keep doing that? I keep clicking decline. I keep clicking decline. I'm so dumb. I, I don't mean to do that. All right. I saw the trade, though. I saw what it was. So, we're going to go to trade override. I know we were getting KCP and Avery Bradley for, like, Jalen Brunson. And then I don't even remember what the other player was. Well, we'll get it figured out. Okay, so it was Avery. What did they? I think they wanted Valentine, if I'm not mistaken. 
Well, we'll go ahead and look. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to this first. I remember the two players they were giving me for sure, but I don't remember what the what they wanted in return. I think it was Gal. No, who who was it? I don't even remember now. Uh, was it Valentine? I think it was. All right, so uh, I need to stop clicking decline. I I don't mean to do that. Uh, I think that was a trade, and if it wasn't, I goofed up. I'm sorry. So just L's in the chat if I goofed up that trade. Okay. Wow, how bad we've gotten. Oh my gosh, this team is awful. This team is so bad. Oh, okay, let's keep going though. Let's keep going. This is definitely Valentine. Well, okay, now they want to give me Valentine right back. Okay. Deal. That's fine. All right, so let's keep going. We're getting all these. All these trades are so just. Oh my gosh. This is not 75 and 86 right now. We got the Nets next, and we're 20 and 31. Yeah, now the record's going to start getting worse. I mean, and obviously, because, okay, I thought that was another trade for a second, but all-star captains, we definitely don't have an all-star because we have literally don't even have anybody good anymore. We do have Larry Markkinen, but his stats are down this year. Wendell Carter, so this is definitely an interesting experiment that we've done so far, and today is their trade deadline, so this is where this part comes to an end i'm debating whether or not to do a second season of this where i try actually i'm gonna do that so what i'm gonna do is retool this team in the off season we're gonna go a second season and see how much worse it gets so i'll meet you guys in free agency and we're gonna see how much better we can make this team and how much the cpu will tear it down off season is starting great as we end up with the first overall pick the bulls win the draft lottery that is what i'm talking about so this is already off to a good start but it really doesn't matter because like i said uh we're this team's gonna get torn down like crazy so i want to get the best coach i can possible so i'm gonna overpay for greg popovich because i want to get the best staff because despite 2k trying to tear down my team i'm uh, my goal is to make the playoffs regardless basically so while accepting every trade we still make the playoffs that would be awesome that's my goal and hopefully we can make that happen so i'm really gonna just try to build the best team i possibly can so uh, i'm not gonna be really keeping anybody like that makes sense i'm gonna probably be trading young players to get better players that's how this is gonna go basically so be prepared is basically what i'm saying so let's see all right so yeah i'm not keeping any of these dudes i don't want any of these guys back and then all of them about to be free agents and then we still have dwight powell's contract sanaransky but with his first overall pick i think it's pretty obvious who we take here it's it's a no-brainer the best player in the draft right now at least on 2k it, it's got to be james wiseman so that's going to be our first overall pick welcome to the team welcome to chicago hopefully we don't have to trade you but uh you never know with 2k so we're gonna take james wiseman reggie perry um I will go ahead and take you as well. I don't know why I wasn't going to. And we could definitely use it in a trade maybe or something like that. The qualifying offers, I don't want any of them back, to be honest. I, I just don't. Chris Dunn, I don't really need you. And then Moratorium Day, we have $48 million in cap space. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go to free agency first and see what we can snag. I'm going to try to get Anthony Davis. I doubt I'll get him, but I'm going to try. And then, oh, I shouldn't give him a no trade clause, though, because that's kind of cheating. But I'm probably not going to get him anyway, so it doesn't matter uh mantras hero if i didn't get a center maybe i shouldn't have drafted a center Ooh, fred van Vliet's up to an 84 overall Ooh, okay well i'm gonna try to get you so hopefully we get fred van Vliet. uh is there anybody else gallinari wow this is this agency class kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie but i'm gonna try to ingram i don't think i'm gonna get him though uh let's keep looking cousins i i don't like any of those miritich uh i mean bodon i guess okay we've used all of our offers today let's see what happens uh the lakers are probably gonna win anthony davis back we do get fred van vliet and brandon ingram obviously i probably won't get ingram back or get ingram because they're gonna match every time fred van vliet do i get mantra oh he's already gone i'm stupid all right paul Millsap. let's get paul Millsap. why not i i don't know what else to do i'm just gonna go for the highest overall so fred van vliet and paul Millsap, welcome to the team so now we look at the roster we have fred van vliet uh, Sato, we definitely need some more. Okay, Lori Markkinen, Millsap, James Wiseman obviously is going to stay, and we have so many centers. So let's go to Trade Finder and start, you know, tearing the, down this team myself. So Felicio, uh, what else? Dwight Powell, and let's see what Dwight Powell and Wendell Carter can get me. We'll we'll just see how this. Let's see what happens. So Harris, Middleton. Okay, there's some good offers. Jalen Brown and Bogdan, but we do have to trade Paul Millsap. Uh, you know, that's actually not too bad of a trade. 
But let's keep looking just in case. Wiggs and Colvert. Okay, so I think I really like this trade. Um, and we're getting rid of Paul Millsap, I guess. So that's fine. We're going to get Jalen Brown and Bojan. I'm cool with that. Welcome to the team, both of you. So that is already a pretty good start. Uh, do I want to move Bojan to small forward? He does go, he does go up. So we'll do it for now. We still have Markin in. Uh, I think I'm going to probably trade him too, though. I'm going to trade Kobe White probably. Casey, yeah, I just kind of want... Okay, Wiseman's here to stay. We can have Gafford back him up if we wanted to. And then Laurie Markkinen, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of if I can. I don't know what his trade value is. Brandon Clark. Okay, none of those are really... Uh, Julius Randle. Um, let's see. All right, what about if I threw in Thomas Sanaransky? And then let's go KCP as well. Let's see what this all could get me. There should be plenty of money in this trade. Devontae Graham and PJ Washington. I actually like that trade a lot. Um, Because, you know, Devontae Graham has been killing it. But I know trading Laurie Markkinen is probably going to kill. Yeah, okay. I, I can't. I can't. Never mind. I'm just going to keep I'm going to keep Markkinen. Whatever. So uh, what else do we need? We definitely need. Okay. Actually, we kind of have a full starting five. We got like one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine so we basically have a, a team do we have any money okay we have four mil i'm gonna go ahead and spend the rest of it on just players so let's just you know boost up the roster a little bit more let's get shabazz and then i think this is gonna be the roster and we're gonna go into the next season hoping for the best we're gonna hope that 2k doesn't tear our team down and we can make the playoffs is basically what i'm hoping for so hopefully this goes well Fingers crossed, let's get to the season. A very good look at this team to start the season because after this season, it's probably not gonna look the same. So we're gonna go to a nine-man rotation, but Fred Van Vliet, Jalen Brown, Boyan McDonovich, Laurie Markkinen, James Wiseman, Kobe White, Sato, Gafford, and Denzel Valentine. Like I said, this team is probably gonna change and I'm expecting a horrible change, but hopefully the team doesn't get any worse and maybe we'll get even better. I don't know, but we're a three and a half system at defense. I'll probably just leave it there, but let's go ahead and get simming and see what trades pop up. So we have a good team this time, but it's obviously 2K that's gonna decide our fate because I have to accept whatever trades get sent to me. So we're gonna keep praying and hope for good trades. Maybe we'll get any at all. Here's our first trade, McCollum. That's actually not bad. I will take this. That is not a bad trade at all. CJ, welcome to Chicago. Okay, that's not a bad trade. All right, the team got better with this one trade. I don't know how much better, but I, I don't think that was an L of a trade. It wasn't a bet. Okay, this is our first L of a trade. Oh my gosh, Zeller and Sneed. We're trading Zeller. Oh my gosh, this is a terrible trade. Oh my God, okay. So now the, okay, now this is gonna, probably go downhill from here it's only downhill from here okay we're getting busevich busevich and chasson randall okay and i'm trading a first which isn't fun but that is our next trade so three center or yeah three centers now okay let's keep turning along hayden 12 all the way to the trade deadline if we didn't make the playoff if we're not even close to making the playoffs by the trade deadline i'm probably just in the video because depending on how these trades keep going it, it's gonna go downhill because vucevic wasn't a bad trade but it wasn't a positional need we didn't need nikola vucevic by any means but um we're not terrible we're 9 and 14 10 and 14 now okay this is a good trade because we need our we need a small forward after we traded bojan so I'm down with this. Tobias Harris, welcome to Chicago. We needed you. We did not need Nikola Vucevic off the bench. So that is our team now. Let's keep churning along. And oh my gosh, this is just, this has been horrible. Like this just hasn't gone well. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but 2K is freezing on me and I'm not a big fan of it. So 10 and 14 right now. What it looks like. Okay, 2K, stop being slow. You can stop being slow at any minute because, uh, you know, the Bing's okay we're back to another center welcome back another center okay i'm not even gonna fix the rotation anymore i'm just gonna let the i'm just gonna keep letting the cpu deal with it just fix the rotation yourself so we're about a month a month and a half away from the trade deadline so i don't I, we might be mediocre and i'm gonna have to finish out the season and see how we finish out and if we don't make the playoffs then it's a done deal like this video is an l i mean not really it was just, it was just a fun experimentation but it, it sucks that we couldn't complete our goal at least i thought we put together a decent team but we're 13 and 18 right now 
Now, obviously, 2K has teared down our team a little bit so far. Not terrible to where I thought it was going to be bad. But James Wiseman is probably on the untouchable list now that I think about it. I don't even know how you check that. I, I'm pretty sure I do. I, I just got to find it. I, it. It's not like uh, team status. Some trading block. Oh, we don't have anybody in the untouchable. Okay. That's fine. Let's just keep going. I thought maybe James Wiseman was untouchable. Obviously, it'd probably be impossible to trade for anyway. But you never know. I thought 2K was going to offer me some stupid trade for James Wiseman. I'm going to have to sit here and accept it when he's probably our best player right now. Although we do have McCollum, so I guess maybe he's not. But we're 14 and 21. Can we get a win streak going, 2K? No, 14 and 22. If we have 30 losses by the trade deadline, there's no way we're making the playoffs. There's like literally zero chance. 14 and 24. All right, I will probably just get this to the trade deadline and then we'll end it there because I don't think we're going to make the playoffs with this roster, unfortunately, which sucks because I really thought we had a chance, but we're not going to do it. So 15 and 25, and then we have the Grizzlies next. They go ahead and uh, we get a W, which is good. 17, 25, okay. Maybe we're getting a win streak going. We don't have any other trades until the trade deadline. Let's not mess up the chemistry. Okay. Okay. Three game win streak. Miles Turner. Okay. Gotta take it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Miles Turner, welcome to the team. Magic. Oh, wait, is Miles did Miles Turner get inserted into rotation anyway? Oh wait, yeah, because always CP always the CPU always handles it. I forgot I said it th that earlier. I was wondering why he stopped asking me. Okay. 18 to 26, 19 to 26. Maybe I have to Okay, let's see. If Draymond. Okay. That's, I guess, Draymond, welcome to the team. Let's, okay, 19 and 26, 20 and 26, I think. Oh, there's the save thing right in front of it. So I can't really see our loss record right now. But 20, 27. Okay, Jordan Clarkson, welcome to the team. Yeah, this is just not going well. Okay, we got another W. We got Willie Colley Stein. Oh my gosh. Now, this is the biggest L we could have took. Fred Van Vliet. We have to trade Fred Van Vliet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That sucks. 108 to 143. We got the Nets. Der Derek White. Is that Derek White? Yes, Derek White. Okay. The trades are kicking up a little bit. It is the trade deadline, so I don't know why I'm surprised. So, let's keep going. We got four more games, and I think we're not going to make the playoffs. Especially with the roster, how it's gone now. There's no way. Let's see if we can get one more trade. One more trade offered to us before this video ends. One more. Can we get us another trade? Or is that Derek White, our last one? That was our last trade, I think. Oh, no. We get another one. Nikola Vucevic. At least we end the video on a decent trade. I will take that. So, yeah. We're probably not making the playoffs. But this is how the final roster went. Derek White, Jordan Clarkson, KCP, Markinen, Wiseman, Vucevic, Kobe White, Willie Colley Stein. So we went from all right to, you know, I guess still all right, but we got Nikola Vucevic twice this season. All right, guys, my throat is starting to hurt pretty badly from talking so much. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely leave a like if you enjoyed this. But this is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.